Write a C++ program to design the class student containing data members, roll number, name, and age. Include a method named display for displaying the student information. Include default constructor and parameterized constructor with default arguments to initialize the data members. Display three students' details using array of objects. So we are creating a class which is named as student. In the private section, we are declaring the data members, role number, name, and age. Role number and age are of integer type, and name is an array of characters. So in the class, there are three data members, role number, name, and age. In the public section, First, we define the constructor, default constructor. The constructor is a member function with the same name as a class name. Default constructor does not take any parameter. And all the constructors, we should not mention the return data type. So in the default constructor, we are accepting the value of the roll number, name, and age. When an object is getting created, it automatically calls the constructor. So default constructor will get called when an object has been created without mentioning any parameters. So we have created a default constructor. Inside the default constructor, by using scene statement, we accept the value of roll number, name, and age of a student object. Next in the class, we are including the parameterized constructor. The name of the parameterized constructor is also student. We are passing three parameters. The first one is an integer value. Another one is a character array. And the third one is also an integer value. The third parameter has been initialized with a default value as 18. So it is an initialized value is mentioned for the third parameter. These three parameter value will get stored into the respective data members. The first R will get stored in roll number and the character array N will get copied into the name data member and A will get stored into the age data members. So here there are three parameters whereas the third parameter is a default value, default argument. If during the creation of the object, we pass three values, it will get replaced for roll number, name, and age. If we don't mention the third parameter, by default, it takes the value of third parameter A as 18. A display method has been written. The display method has no parameters and the return data type is void. It is used to display the data member's value. So we display roll number, name, and age in the display method. In the main method, we are creating an array of student object. We created an array of three objects, 
ST3. So we will be having three objects, ST0, ST1, and ST2. So we are creating an array of object. Now we have two constructors are there. One is default constructor and next one is parameterized constructor. So in this ST3, while we are creating, we are passing three different set of values. For the ST0, we are passing no values. So the first set of values are null. There is no value. In the second set, we are passing the value as 102 and XYZ. So 102 will go for roll number and XYZ will go to name. And age will take the default value during the call of parameterized constructor. For third object, we are passing the value as 103 as a roll number, name as PQR and age as 20. So three objects will get created, ST0, ST1 and ST2. During the creation of ST0, the default constructor will get called. During the creation of ST1, the parameterized constructor with initialized value for the third parameter will get called. And during the creation of ST2, which is the third object, the parameterized constructor will get called, whereas the age will get replaced by the value 20. By using a for loop, we are calling the display method for all the object. Our object is ST0, ST1, and ST2. So we use an index variable as STI where i ranges from 0 to 2 and the public method which is there in the student class which is display the display can be called by using each of the object st0 st1 and st2 by using the dot operator execute and see the program output We are using strcpy function for copying an array of character one array of character into another. So we have to use strcpy must have a header file hash includes string dot h. Execute and see the program output. 